How's it going guys? You Auto Scotty here. Got something kind of fun to play with. I did a lot of research online as to what sort of uh, Geiger counter to get. Been wanting one of these for a long time. This this seemed like a really good quality one that had um, a low and high range tube and also a lot of good capabilities and a good price range. This this counter here is about 200 Canadian. If I can get it out with one hand here. I've actually already had this open. I'm just kind of showing you guys how how it came, how it was packed. There we go. Okay. A nice little case with it. Um, this one, I think you can hook to a computer. I think and download different. I'm not sure. I have to read the instructions. I'm not sure what, why you would do that, but. Comes with this card, and presumably, I, I think these are all background radiation levels, uh, typical background radio le uh, radiation levels for different regions. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. GMC map. This is a GQ Electronics GMC 500. Geiger counter and, and gamma x-ray dosimeter. So this is actually a, a dose, you could actually use it as a dosimeter as well. Measures counts per minute, uh, milli sieverts per hour, milli rentgen per hour. Just a little uh, safety card here. So five to 50 counts is normal background, 51 to 99 counts per minute, medium level. Over 100 is a high level, closely watch reading, find out why. Greater than a thousand, very high, leave the area ASAP and find out why. Greater than 2,000, extremely high, evacuate immediately, report to government. So let's get this thing out. And I actually have a particular reason why we're going to use this now. Okay, here we are. Let's take this. All right. So you can see, uh, I'm not sure... This only has one tube. You can see the tube in it here. I thought that this was supposed to come with a high range and long range tube, but it doesn't seem to have come with two tubes. So I'm not sure why that would be. Uh, but but anyways, um, here's the GQ GMC 500. The, the other ones I saw online had two tubes in them. So I'm not sure why this one only has one. So right now we're just reading uh, normal background radiation. So if we, the, we're at my parents' house in Barhaven. Just walking around the house. A couple clicks here and there. Just normal background radiation stuff. There's something in the kitchen that I would like to measure in particular. So a little bit of a cool family history here. So my mother's great, great grandfather started a pottery business at the turn of the century. I'm not sure really when, but it was called Branham Pottery. I think the, I think the pieces are pretty highly sought after. You can find them on eBay. But back in the old days, they used to use a uranium glaze, which was radioactive. Some of the pottery here in the kitchen to see if any of this stuff is radioactive. I actually know for sure um, that one piece is radioactive and that's that orange bowl right there, uh, which has uh, uranium glaze on it, according to my mother. And uh, we're gonna t check that out now. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Any of these other pots are radioactive? No, maybe a little bit. Check this one out though. <laughs> oh geez, that's much higher than it was before. We're looking at roughly 14, four, 
1400 counts per minute to setting off the alarm. That's very interesting. So this pot is uh, probably likely over a hundred years <clears throat> old and made by my mother's uh, great grandfather or one of his workers, we don't know. And that is a very old piece of pottery that is radioactive. And there's lots of stuff like this. So, pretty cool. So that's a fun toy to play with. Um, the reason why I got this, the reason why I got this was uh, to play with it uh, as a toy. I like I, I want to just kind of like test stuff out, and but also I'd like to test my food. I know I know a lot of people are testing their food for radiation these days, especially fish. Um, and then I also have a couple, I used to collect rocks when I was, when I was little, I still have my rock collection and a few of the rocks that I collected when I was little look like they may be like a, like a uranium ore and I've never known for sure if they were or not. So that's kind of why I, I got this thing. Cause it's just been on my mind. I wanted to know if it was actually uranium or not, uh, that I had collected when I was little. Anyways, we'll, we'll maybe make another video at, at some point detailing the different functionalities of this. But yeah, it's uh, it's about 200 Canadian dollars and I think it's well worth it to have around the house um, uh, for safety stuff. I mean, it's, it's also, it's like, you know, I wonder if some of these tiles, I wonder if some of these tiles are radioactive. No. Nope, nothing around here. That's uh, just fun. This is fun stuff, right? Just we can go through the fridge and test our food if we wanted to. So that pot, actually, according to this card, would be considered very high. Leave the area ASAP and find out why. <laughs> so that pot has been uh, sitting up there for... <laughs> I don't know, like people have probably ate out of that pot or bowl, uh, whatever. Um, I mean, it's this, this thing's over, over a hundred years old. So get a good look at that. Actually, that's Branham pottery, uranium. I'm going to watch to wash my hands now, <laughs> but, um, anyways, also, also, if you're interested, check out uh, Branham Pottery. Just kind of an interesting um, family connection there from England. My mom, mom is from uh, England. So anyways, uh, yeah, we'll play around with that more in some future videos. There are sort of interesting stuff. I hope you enjoyed that short little video, and uh, we'll, we'll see you soon.